haul today. I received something a couple days ago, but I did break my wrist and it's an ugly cast. <sighs> what I do? Well, I saw a spider on my desk and I just went wham and I broke two little or fractured two little bones. Um, it's called, I don't even know if I'm saying this right, uh, tri triquitrum and p pisiform. Pisiform. Odd, right? With that said, if you like these types of videos where I unbox authentic to evil <laughs> twin items like today, evil twin, this is so weird. I DIY, I compare bags to review on bags plus more, like break my wrist, then please like and subscribe. If you want to talk fashion style, then DM me on my Instagram at tcp underscore luxury. Let's get started. What did I buy? You guys like my eyeshadow? You know what this eyeshadow is called? Break your wrist eyeshadow because I've been on painkillers. I'm tired, but I want to show you guys this cute bag. Here it is. How am I going to do this? Got myself some Prada. So let's see how this baby looks. I'll have to, let's just unbox this baby, shall we? Here is the box. Let's try to do this one-handed. I don't know, we shall see. So the box is in good condition. As you can see, this is a Prada bag. Let me just remove these and remove it's in really great condition. And there's a lot of plastic bits. Here you go. It has Prada on the hardware. And this is soft neon leather. Here's the inside. It does have a Prada logo. So, oh, nice. It has. Little, uh, like little ring, what have you. It is from a 2005 remake, I guess. 2005 remake. Here's the bag. It is beautiful. I have not been to the store to see how this looks in person, so let me know if this evil twin is not the best. And here is the Insignia, there's the code. Thank God I didn't have to search all over for this. It's made in Italy. And the, um, the cards, I'm not gonna open this cause I only have one hand and I don't feel like, I'm sure it looks good. <laughs> for those of you who care about it. And then we have the straps. I don't know if it's on the verge of being too yellow for me, but it's kind of not too yellow, but it is a gold. Like this is a traditional gold color and it does have, it does say Prada on the little clasps. It says it does say Prada on the little clasp. Okay, and this strap. This is where you, this is a D-ring where you can put your little pouchy thing. Does say Prada there? See this. Okay, so that does fit. It looks really pretty, people. Now, I haven't been to the Prada store. It's COVID-19, so, you know, I've been really good and not going to the store. I'll have to remove these plastic bits. It does say Prada on the clasp. There's the leather bit. It says Prada all over it. It's a really pretty strap. Books. I'm loving it. And we shall see how it fits. And I do appreciate that the plastic protectors are not really hard to remove, except that first one. Since my condition is pretty bad. Do you. Oh. I didn't notice that the D-rings also have Prada. It's pretty much prada out. So this is like a, can you have this as a decoration piece or 
chain can be a decoration piece or you can just have it as like a, a shoulder bag with a chain or this will be the crossbody, the bigger one. So let's just put it all together and try it on. Oh my God. Here's how it fits. It's really adorable. I had to like adjust it because it was too long for me. But pretty much, sorry about my casted arm. As it is not, it's cramping my style, folks. It's cramping my style. Anyway, it's really pretty. I do love it, and I do have some cute white Prada boots I could wear it with. But yeah, this is actually making me really happy. It's a beautiful bag. I don't like the little, I'm not a fan of this, so I'm not gonna like put it on. Also, I may just have to put the chain away. It doesn't make a lot of sound when it goes back and forth. Again, this is a Safiano leather. They do have nylon as well. But I just want a nice plain white bag. Also, I'm thinking you could just like remove the strap. If you, I'm not gonna do it right now because my arm, but like you have this moment. Also put it up, just use the chain. It's really cute. and comfy. That's the bag, folks. She's a pretty bag. breaking a bone. I never broke a bone before, so this is a bit interesting. I was, I, I obviously was in so much pain that when they asked me, what, what color cast do you want? And I should have said black, but I said pink. Now I'm stuck with this like really bright pink cast. I'm getting a cast cover. I have a gold one, but I don't want to wear it. I bought a black one and it doesn't fit. It like stopped here. So that was dumb. Should have got a longer one. But I am not a cast expert, so for now we will just hide it like this. <laughs> so bad. And Peppermint has been taking care of me. Of course my husband, but Peppermint has like this, he has this like sense every time I'm not feeling well, she's always there by my side, being my little comfort kitty. That's what she is. Thanks everybody for watching. I hope you enjoyed <sighs> this ugly pink cast. I'm stuck with it for about four weeks. Anyway, have a wonderful day and talk to you soon. Next videos, you'll probably see me in this cast. I'll find some like cast covers. Maybe people give me some ideas. What can I cover this with? Like maybe just spray paint it gold or black because I'm hating this pink. It's not the cutest pink. Um, if you guys have any ideas, let me know. Maybe bling it out. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, talk to you later and have a wonderful day. Bye!